So you want to main Jing Wei, the Oath Keeper. Against the red rising sun, a winged form sweeps out to sea, claw clutched around a pebble. With focused grit, she hurls the small stone into the watery moor, circling above as it sinks into darkness. Resolved, she turns back to collect another. Jing Wei will not seize until the ocean is filled. That is her oath, and she will not break an oath. First, ask yourself, why do you want to main Jing Wei? She flies out of base. Not going to lie, it's really fun to use. She has a bunch of self buffs. She's a safe god. She's hard to out pressure. But before you choose to main her, it's good to know the cons of Jing Wei. Her clear is not the best. Her early game is not great. Jing Wei is a Chinese smite hunter. Smite has classified her as an easy god, and I find her hard to learn and master, but easy once you understand how she's used. A quick note, if you're an experienced Jing Wei player or you just love playing her, feel free to leave any tips down in the comments below. In this guide, we're exploring Jing Wei as an ADC, going through her abilities, attack cancelling, combos, builds, counters, what not to do, and general tips. With that, let's go through Jing Wei's abilities. Jing Wei's passive, Rapid Reincarnation. When exiting base, Jing Wei prepares for takeoff and then ascends into the sky. This allows her to fly over obstacles at an increased speed with CC immunity. Jing Wei can decline to fly by using the cancel key. In this case, for most PC players, the right click of the mouse button. Jing Wei can land early or on a designated spot by clicking the basic attack button. This passive is pretty strong in conquest. It allows Jing Wei to return to base more often than other gods, usually always be on time to make it to the next wave, hence not losing experience and gold. This gives you an advantage over the enemy god, if they're not Jing Wei, to have more items than them during laning phase. This passive also makes her a really safe god to play because she can go back to base so often she can return to heal a lot. Jing Wei's first ability, Persistent Gust. Jing Wei's one is a ground target. Jing Wei creates a gust of wind that damages enemies and knocks up enemy gods in the target area. The gust will stay there for about six seconds. If Jing Wei walks onto the gust, she is knocked into the air and gains an attack speed buff for seven seconds. The attack speed is refreshed if she knocks herself up again in the same ability. This is Jing Wei's main damage and clear ability. It's a bit awkward in my opinion because it's also an important buff, but to use it, you have to walk into it, and you also want to get the damage on the enemy. Jing Wei's second ability, Explosive Bolts. Jing Wei's 2 is a buff ability type. Jing Wei loads her crossbow with Explosive Bolts. Her next three basic attacks will be wider, have increased critical chance, and deal an area of effect damage. Jing Wei's third ability, Agility. Jing Wei's three is a dash ability type. Jing Wei dashes straight forward. She may use this ability while knocked into the air for a longer range of dash. When she uses this ability, she gains four seconds increased physical damage and movement speed. The effect of this buff is increased if agility is used from the air, so if she uses this ability while she's knocked up. This ability is both an important engagement and also used as an escape. To maximize the damage and speed of this ability, it's best to use it when you're knocked up. This works directly with her first ability. Xing Wei's ultimate, Airstrike. Xing Wei's ultimate is a line ability type. Jing Wei channels briefly before taking to the sky. She then flies forward and upward while covering the area below in explosions that damage all enemies in the area. After her attack, she hovers for up to 2 seconds before landing at a ground target location. You can choose to land earlier at your target location. This ability is mainly used for repositioning. This ability is a bit awkward in my opinion, it's mostly used for escapes and clean up kills if an enemy happens to get away. For the first 5 levels, at level 1, her 1, at level 2, her 3, at level 3, her 2, at level 4, her 1, at level 5, her ultimate. For leveling priority, 
There are two pathways you could go. Pathway 1 if you're running a crit build, her 1 for damage and attack speed, her 2 for crit chance, her 3 for damage and cooldown reduction of the ability, her ultimate for damage. So basically, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pathway 2, if you're running an attack speed slash pen build, her 1 for damage and attack speed, her 3 for damage and cooldown reduction, her 2 for crit chance, her ultimate for damage. So basically, 1, 3, 2, 4. I would just like to note with this pathway, it is a very aggressive pathway and requires you to play aggressively for it to work really well. With an attack speed slash pen build, you can still also go with the first pathway and prioritize crit. Attack cancelling for Jing Wei. Attack cancelling allows for some extra basic attack damage to come through. This isn't mandatory to do. For our first ability, this one is tricky, you'd have to be really quick for this one to work as you do have to precisely aim this ability on enemies. It works a lot better on enemies who are already CC'd. As soon as you fire your basic attack, use your 1. For her second ability, as soon as you fire your basic attack, use her 2. For her third ability, her 3 on quick or instant cast, as soon as you fire your basic attack, use her 3. Combos for Jing Wei. Before we get into combos, a few pointers. Jing Wei is a safe god, but she's also a very risky god. When I say safe, I mean because of her passive, her third ability and her ultimate. She has many escapes and she can go back to base to heal up pretty much every time after a fight without having to hold tower. With her combos, I mentioned that her main damage ability is her one, but it's also an important buff, so she benefits both from knocking herself up and the enemy god. If enemies knock you up and your 3 is up, it benefits Jing Wei. Use this to your advantage. Either use it to escape or use it to engage. As I said before, to maximize her full potential, you have to play her a bit risky. Her first 3 abilities are all self buffs. You can play her very safe as well, but she will be losing some benefits in this type of playstyle. Your ultimate is situational. You can use it for escaping, repositioning, or just killing an enemy guard you can't reach. A note with her first ability, as I said before, it's a bit awkward. It's your main damage, but it's also an important buff. You can apply this buff and damage to the enemy in two different ways. The first way is hitting yourself and the enemy at the same time with your first ability. I would use this way if you're safe to do so and you're stronger than the enemy or a bit ahead. It's a riskier way of applying the damage and buff at the same time. The second way is hitting the enemy with your first ability and then running through it. For short combos, 1 and 2 or 2 and 1. 1 and 3. This combo is great for engaging and applying both buffs to yourself. For medium combos, 2, 1, Three. This is going to sound a bit confusing, but even though you're using these combos, each situation and outcome will be different each time you use it. For example, with the 1 and 3 combo, you could be using the 1 on the enemy and then using your 3. You and the enemy could both be hit and then using the 3. You could just be using the 1 and 3 on yourself and not on the enemy. So please keep that in mind when using these combos I've stated. Builds for Jing Wei. Builds always depend on what kind of enemies you're up against. My builds in these videos is just a general guideline. You can adjust accordingly depending on your game and situations. For a crit build, Hunter's Blessing, Devourer's Gauntlet, Ninja Tabi for attack speed or Warrior Tabi for power, Poison Star, Executioner, Deathbringer, and then Cell Hunter's Blessing for Wind Demon. For an attack speed slash pen build, Hunter's Blessing, Devourer's Gauntlet, Ninja Tabi for attack speed or Warrior Tabi for power, Ichival, Executioner, Kin Size, and then Cell Hunter's Blade for Titan's Bane, and then Cell Ichival for Odysseus Bow. For relics, it always depends on the game, 
but Jingwei usually picks up purification beads and Aegis amulet. Counters of Jingwei Her buffs are not a simple click and use like her second ability. To maximize the potential of her kit, it requires her to be played aggressively or put yourself in risky positions. She really heavily relies on her ultimate as an escape if played this way. You can't accurately control where she will land when knocking herself up with her one. This gives a chance for enemies to take advantage of that. Her early game is terrible, especially her clear. Keep this in mind, she's a late game goddess, so she won't shine much until late game. What not to do as Jingwei. Do not put yourself in a risky position just to get herself buffs. Do it when the time and situation is right. Unless you're ahead, do not be too aggressive in early fights. Xingwei's early is very weak. She's a really good late game god. Do not engage with your ultimate. Do not feel bad if you don't feel that impactful during the early slash mid game. Xingwei can still do some serious stuff early and mid game, but like I said, she does shine most late game. Do not go in unless you know you're safe. With that, always be map aware and aware of your surroundings. General combat tips for Jing Wei. Knockups aren't necessarily a counter for Jing Wei if her 3 is up. Jing Wei can use her 3 with any knockup from any enemy god. This makes it easier for her to engage or escape on it without having to use her 1. You can go back to base as often as you like as long as you clear the wave. This gives Jing Wei an advantage with items and regenerating her health and mana at base. Remember, the ultimate is mainly used for repositioning. Use it mostly to either chase or escape. You can pop your 2 early before using a combo. Your 2 will always be on for the next 3 basic attacks. I recommend for early and mid game to just farm as much as you can. Remember, she is a late game goddess, so try and get there as quickly as possible. You can use your ultimate to confirm kills. If you're playing Jingwei to her maximum potential, her 1 and 3 may most likely be down during fights. You can use your ultimate to finish off enemies you cannot reach. With Jingwei's passive, if you're in a team fight and you have to go back to base, in some situations, you can literally make it back to the team fight because of how far your passive puts you in the map. It's really strong. Some enemies might try to bait out your combo or your three. Be aware of what abilities they've used before going in. They might just be waiting for it. Remember that you can go back to base when you need items or low health. Take advantage of her passive. I would like to thank Azura Justice for bringing us this Xing Wei guide. I am so sorry it took so long. She was actually pretty hard to learn. If you would like to request a god guide or simply just to support me, you can find a coffee donation link in the description box below. Let me know what god you would like to make next in the comments. Subscribing and likes would be super rad. Clicking the bell really helps me out. I hope to see you for the next one. Bye!